So now I want to show you how you make changes to Tech Touch View. What you do there is you go into settings, like up settings here, enter the pass, that's the admin passcode, and that'll bring up your settings menu. Here you can change names, you have input sources, you can change the input number, so I can change whatever source input or add a source input. I have next to here, I got view. View is a nice feature that allows you to preview a feature into the, on your display so you can check the cameras, things like that. You can go through here and select up your cameras and sources and see if you have your sources are working. You can actually move the uh, settings menu out of the way so you can see the whole, whole screen. Another feature is that you can uh, assign controls. So say like, um, you know, if I had a Blu-ray player or something, I can actually come in here and change my controls. I can actually Apple TV, Polycom, Cisco. If there is no control to select none. That will actually bring up the control window whenever that source is selected. You have these columns here um, for presentation web and VTC that determines if there, that what source is going to be uh, selectable on those inputs, uh, those uh, modes of operation. So presentation, like right now, we only have the um, laptops and the computer capable of going to presentation mode. All sources on pres on video conferencing. If I have a podium, say I hook up an HD base T podium, I can change that. I can come over here and set podium. I can change do the same thing. I can change my names. I can assign Blu-ray or Apple TV to a, to a control. I can change my macros. Those are controls for the tech monitor. And then I also assign which tech monitor it's going to be running off of. I got a service number. If Say, for example, if I need to, um, if they, they want a little service page that has some couple of help buttons, like for example, there's a help button for AV, a help button for PC, and a, and I'll display the service number. I can enter that service number. I can you can see what uh, IP address of my devices, uh, and also my MAC address. Got a user password. You can change that. The user password has to do with a uh, mic setting. So if I was to go into settings and change and and uh, I select my mic controls, I can make the adjustments to those. Let's see, at the bottom here's that easy mode. Say so if you don't like the easy mode, you can turn it off. Your preview, you can actually turn your preview on where you have to select a, you select a source and then send it. And then this is your display on uh, during preview. If you don't like that, you can turn that off. You got your mon tech monitors here. You can assign. You got Apple uh, <laughs> audio teleconferencing. You can assign that to POTS or Voice over IP. And then over here, you got a off timer. This has this works with the Occupy sensor. I can in minutes. I can change that. If, say if the Occupy sensor is going off. Uh, below that is a system off timer. If the Occupy sensor uh, shuts off, goes off, you can actually uh, it'll start a countdown timer, and you can come in and view that. If you ever see that number is zero. That means the Occupy sensor actually shut down the system. You got wireless mics. You can add a number of wireless mics and a number of ceiling mics here. So let's make a change. So um, what we want to do is we don't use a laptop VGA. And let's go and add a Blu-ray player. So let's put in Blu-ray. And I'll add my Blu-ray controls. Then they say, hey, we don't use the video conferencing, so let's turn off the video conferencing. When you turn off video conferencing, you also want to disable the column for video conferencing. And you have the video conferencing numbers here. You want to turn that to zero because those aren't being used. And one other thing. Say they wanted to add View Vault, we can add a View Vault. That's our TechBox Lecture Capture software. So you can uh, add that in. Choose an output, unused output for it. And then you go over to Set IPs and you add in its IP address. The 
let's say, so go ahead and just add in a voice over IP to the system. We'll disable this display on function. And we'll put in a service number. Once everything's done, just hit um, you'll hit save, and we'll see how it does. Now you see I don't have web conferencing, um, and if I turn on my presentation system, you have a bunch more controls here. I have audio conferencing control capability. And along that, I got microphones. I have my ceiling mics. And I got my privacy uh, with the audio conferencing. I also have I can settings that there was a user password. So let's go in and show, look at these mics. And when you select up a mic, it, sh it will bring up the level. You can adjust the level and hit the mute. It will show it in dB. You will, uh, since the ceiling mics are muted, when I hit ceiling mics, they will show muted. If I turn off the mute and then select the mic, you'll see the mute now is off. This is a scroll. You can scroll up and down to get to more the rest of your microphones. And in my send, I'll have now my lecture capture, and I'll have a record button. And I can select up, uh, put it into record, and stop. So that should be it. Um, it shows you quite a few functionalities that you can change without ever touching any programming. Thanks a lot.